take the next call. Hello, Salaam Alaikum. Hello, Salaam Alaikum. Who's calling? It's my bro from Reckless Being. How are you doing, my bro? Alhamdulillah. How are you doing? I'm oh, very good. Very. I'm glad you called. Go on. Yeah, give us a perspective I, from I, a vegetarian. I any longer. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, it's, it's a very difficult issue, of course. Um, everyone's aware of this. It's a difficult issue for Myanmar. It's a difficult, difficult issue for Bangladesh. It's a difficult issue for us um, as British people, even British Bang Bangladeshis here as well, because, you know, there's two things going on here. Firstly, uh, Burma uh, is obviously, you know, uh, the junta is, and uh, the previous junta and the new kind of semi-democratic uh, movement is, is easily and is obviously persecuting the Rohingya. Um, it's not a question of is this ethnic cleansing. It is ethnic cleansing, and that's the most important thing that needs to be remembered here. The second thing is, it's difficult, as I said, for us British Bangladeshis sometimes to look and see that our own government, um, you know, if you like, uh, in Bangladesh, is, is turning a blind eye to the issues and the problems of the Rohingya. Um, you know, even recently, as, as last night, there was a, a report by Channel 4 which highlighted this. Um, so we actually have, have, have stood strongly as an organization with Bro UK, you know, with Tun King and, and uh, with, with Mr. Nurul Islam as well, who are on your show, um, in solidarity when we went to protest against the Burmese uh, embassy uh, last week, if I, if I, if I remember correctly. Um, to be honest with you, we know that that's not going to do anything. Um, you know, the, the Burmese government are not going to listen to us. I mean, the fact that Suu Kyi came to this country, um, she's been given a huge platform to speak to the world about this issue and is, is denying or is, is questioning whether the Rohingya should actually even be citizens of Burma is testament to that. Um, I'm all for Suu Kyi um, as an organization. We like what she does, but at the same time, it's important to, not, to understand that she, she has got her hands tied a little bit with this whole situation. Of course, she, she's vying for power in 2015 as well, so she's limited with what she can say. As a result, what we've done, um, I don't want to take up too much of your time, um, I know you have other quarters, but as a result, what we've done tonight actually is established a petition um, to the Bangladesh Embassy, to the Bangladesh High Commission, um, and we're asking the, the Bangladeshi government to, you know, in, in human spirit, and that's the important thing, in human spirit, to allow for refugee status for some of the Rohingya who are trying to flee Burma at this moment in time. We're actually going to go to the Bangladesh Embassy with this petition on Monday at midday. So we urge everyone that's watching to come with us and show us some solidarity. It's available on our website to sign. We're all over the social networks, Facebook, Twitter. Um, just type in Restless Beings and you'll see we are actively pushing this petition. The reality of it is this, Ajma Bayan, this is a bit that sometimes upsets me and makes me feel really passionate about this. If, if we have the word Palestine petition here, we would within tonight have 10,000 signatures. When we put the word Rohingya into this situation, I doubt, I hope, but I doubt we'll reach even 100 by the end of tonight. And you know what? That's where our role is. As, as people who are watching this show, as people who are going about their everyday life in the UK, that's our role. That's Thanks. our duty, our burden, that we must go forward. Yes, yeah, sorry, Asma. No, can I just finish my point? Can I just finish my point, no, Asma? Sorry, one second. Yeah. It's our duty to actually go forward and represent the Rohingya. And it's not the Rohingya only. Any, uh, any community that's facing persecution, whether it's from a Muslim side or not, from okay. a human perspective, Fantastic. we need to we need to stand up. Um, Mabru, before you go, can you please post this particular thing on my Facebook right now? <coughs> um, if you are a friend to me, or if one of your friends are friends of my Facebook, put it up. When I get back um, onto my Facebook, I'll make sure I highlight it and I promote it as much as I can. But that's a fantastic point, uh, Mabru raises. The next call, I was.